wanna ride you like a bicycle And you they blow my mind for my mind to go And I no go lie, you lights up my life And when she tell me my love is your love, baby She don't want the Gucci, but the body Fendi Cause she give me butterflies in my bed living today i really need to get a car mount because this babes like this just won't work oh i could do it like that let me just move my seat back a little bit sometimes i hate wearing turtlenecks because it looks like i literally can't breathe anyways what is up y'all welcome back to another vlog we are starting the vlog in the car hello what's new also a nail is missing don't speak about it don't speak i don't think i can do the press on live look because they just pop off so easy like what is that anyways look at what i got look at what i got we're going to cycle right now <coughs> that was actually a frightening noise I got my blueberry coffee it looks very light it's looking light like i like a little a, a little more color to my coffee but it's i'm sure it's gonna taste so bomb it's so i've gotten it three days in a row like uh, it just hits like it's something about it it's just really hitting I was exhausted this morning to the point where I was like I'm not even gonna go to cycle but then I remembered that cycle bar literally like I don't know if this is every cycle bar but the one that I go to they literally like just sent out a thing and they're like if you cancel within a 12 hour window you'll be charged 15 bucks and if you don't show up to a class you'll be charged 15 bucks i'm like not a no show type of person like i've never signed up for a class and not showed up but you know shit happens like i was so tired i was like i really just don't feel like going but then i was like let me get my ass up because they're gonna charge me 15 dollars <laughs> and like why like what is the point it's not even the 15 dollars like i don't even care about the 15 dollars it's like the principle of it like damn i guess i will get up and get my ass up then you know what i'm saying and i was starving this morning some mornings i wake up just like ravenous like what is that oh these are cute they look like little donuts so i'm trying these little egg bites they're like the egg veggie bite things i've never tried these like last time i went to duncan these didn't even exist so see what they're giving oh oh my god okay first of all these are way better than starbucks i was like actually delicious tomorrow i really want to not have any like drinks in the morning like i want that to be like a goal that i set for myself for 30 days like no coffee no matcha no alani no none of that i literally just want to live off water like just what like just drinking water for a month no excess drinks okay i've got my caffeine content down substantially like you guys know this is something i talk about all the time but now i kind of want to challenge myself to go 30 days without like no drinks like other than water <laughs> which is and tea water and tea i'm rambling let's go to cycle because i still have to drive over there and i literally have about 15 minutes and i'm gonna be late so let's go We're about to go out to eat, but we stopped at Target real quick because he wants these drinks. They prime sent us like a whole case of these, and we're literally already out because he takes them every day for work. So we're here to get more primes. I got one of these strawberry watermelon because I love anything strawberry, and that just sounds fire. So we need to get one of those. What is this? We're just getting like drinks and stuff stocking up on some energy drinks even though I have a ton of Alani's but he wants these specific ones. Alani is apparently too girly. Okay, it's all I need. I'm trying for 30 days to not have any caffeine though. 
after tomorrow. So should I just put that one back? I forgot about yeah, I forgot about what I'm doing. <laughs> yeah. When you open it, I'll just have a sip of yours. Yeah. That's fine. Okay. Anyways, and then we're gonna go to Wingstop because I'm gonna get some wings. Except they just don't season it like they do in Florida. I'm telling you, the seasoning here is not as good as Florida. But we're gonna get some wing stuff. I might try the new, what is it called? The Lotto, the Lotto wings. I want to try them. The lemon herb remix. That's what it is. So we're gonna try that. Anyways, we're just getting some drinks and then going to get some food. All right, y'all. We are in Five Below now, and look at this. Look at this. The girlies need to come to Five Below. This acrylic thing for the fridge. Five dollars. How cute is that? I know. I was looking at it. For the girls, I want to go into the pet section, actually. Look, show them, show them the, look at this popcorn that I got, y'all. I've never even seen this flavor, the no cheese cheesiness. Cheesy so cheese. I'm excited to try it. Yeah. I'm excited about this flavor. Oh my god, look, they even have these things. Harry Potter, Harry Potter. Ugh. Those are cute, the figurines. Don't people like collect these things? Look, they have a ton in here, that's so cool. Or you get this for your mom. I know, huh? Look, they even have the... <laughs> like, this one has a lot of stuff. I've never been in this five below. Do they have fart spray? I want to do a prank on my mom. I used to have one of these as a kid, and now I low-key I low key want it again. I know, like, for five bucks? It's not. Look, you can see it right here. Someone took it out. I want to get our bed frame first. Together. Like, I've been saying I'm going to order this damn bed frame for five years, and <laughs> babes, it still hasn't been ordered. You don't want to get them a toy or anything? No. No? He said they have a hundred toys. Look at all the cute clothes they have for them, though. He said they got the drip. Look. <laughs> they got some cute stuff. Except I feel like some of the stuff, it, like, says weird stuff. Like, this is, like, the Forever 21 of, like, <laughs> pet clothes. All right, y'all. Here is the wings. We got the lotto meal. I'm assuming that these are the are the what are these? The lemon herbs. They don't look seasoned enough. <laughs> they gave us some burnt fries. Their ranch is top tier, though. You need to try a different wing stop. These people fucking. I know these people. They just don't. They just don't season it up good enough. It's time to post some more stuff on Depop because it is Monday and I said I was going to post all this stuff on Depop and I never did. I literally only posted my 15 items. Oh my god. There's bubbling going on. Don't post that. <laughs> He's taking a shit. Anyways, we ate our wing stuff. It was so good. The Lotto Lemon, whatever it's called, it's the Lemon Herb Remix. That's what it's called. Those are good. Those are really good, and I like the hot honey. We got hot honey Louisiana rub and the and the Lotto, like the new Lotto wings. Really good, really really good. Like I was talking a little bit of shit before we started, but no, they seasoned those things up good. Okay, my favorite is the garlic parmesan, but they only season those good in Florida. Like I don't know what I don't know if the ingredients are different in California, or it's just like who's preparing it or how they make it or I have no clue. Like I obviously don't work at Wingstop but they were just so good in Florida then when you come here and you're like oh that's just not as good you know what I'm saying so I feel like I can never order those again but as long as they have the lotto wings I don't know how long that's gonna be but that was good okay I hope they don't get rid of it in like a month y'all I literally just got the Emma Chamberlain drink like a couple I got like twice they got rid of it they already got rid of it at Airwalm the smoothie and I I've seen a lot of people saying that it was nasty I thought it was good and my mom liked it too you thought it was good right no no he thought it tasted like a mud pie or something <laughs> the Emma drink yeah it wasn't bad that's what I'm saying he hates healthy shit I don't know I feel like I've seen a lot of people like getting it and like critiquing it and saying it was nasty and I'm like really like I have a very interesting like palette though like I have an interesting taste buds like what I like you know what I'm saying so maybe that's it maybe that's it I don't know anyways I cracked me a Kim a little Kim K Alani because we're about to post 
these fits um yeah i wanted to have way i wanted to have like 50 things on my depot posted when i posted that video so i'm kind of upset at myself that i only had 15 but it's okay i'm gonna do some more of it now and then i have some really good stuff in the garage that i want to post so make sure you all follow me on depop the link will be in my description but i've got some like cute like like this is cute i just never wear it you know what i'm saying like everything that i am selling i look at it and i'm like this is so cute but i just don't wear it like it's pointless keeping it in my closet if i don't wear it you know what i'm saying so i got this cute fashion nova dress which is like a vibe like especially for the barbie stuff going on right now <laughs> We need to watch that movie, babe. Let's rent it. Oh, we can't yet. We already tried to rent Barbie. I'm fucking, I'm fucking tired, okay. We tried to rent the Barbie movie, you can't. We're gonna freaking, I wanna see the Barbie movie because everybody keeps saying it was so good. Like all, everybody on Instagram is like, best movie I've seen in a while. Like such a good mess. I think people were saying it had a good message. I don't know, I <laughs> can't pick that up, but. I really want to see it so anyways yeah i have tons of dresses like dresses is my theme today for the depop clothes so if you like dresses come and get you some of these girl like i have so many because i went through a phase where i just loved dresses and i still do but i like a lot of dresses now more that kind of i learned how to dress for my body type okay let me just say that and some of these just like don't flatter my body in in ways or I just don't wear them anymore don't gravitate towards them y'all know what it is so I'm gonna post these and yeah so see you guys once we are done it takes a little minute like it low-key does take a second to post everything because you have to like sit in and tag the brand and the size and you know what I mean so and I and I have to take photos like wearing it because I think people should see like what it looks like on opposed to just like hanging up because like me as a viewer i like no, not as a viewer as a buyer like if i'm gonna buy clothes i need to see it on somebody it's not like as enjoyable to look at if it's just like sitting there does that make sense like i don't know i think it's it's easier to see how everything fits if it's already on somebody you know what i'm saying so that is what i'm doing and all of that takes time so i got my mirror set up right here this is the mirror that we keep in the hallway from ikea it's like the perfect mirror for this so yeah i'm just gonna get this on and pop in and i will catch up with y'all when i'm done 90 day fiance on tonight we already watched the one last night for sunday because usually it comes on on sunday but on monday they do 90 day the other way which is just as good oh my god i've seen like memes circling around about it on instagram and it's there's some characters there y'all like i just love 90 day because it's like one of those things that it keeps you on your toes you know i thought we were gonna watch love island why did they take it off hulu <laughs> like literally even the episode that i watched last night was all of a sudden gone so i don't know what happened to that but y'all need to get it together because my new episode is due today and i need to see it okay <laughs> all right y'all it is that time <laughs> This is the printer that I ordered to package my orders. Thank you to everybody that bought something on my Depop. I'm so excited. We're about to package orders right now. And if you see a little dog hair in there, I'm so sorry. I don't know where my lint roller is. Actually, there's one Did upstairs. You see dog hairs from City's butt crack. Can you get it upstairs from the nightstand? It's in my nightstand on my side. It's way back there. Make sure you look for it. What? <laughs> I had to ship this next day or get it like delivered next day because I need a label printer because I don't own a printer. I literally don't own that. So. Oh God, this looks like a lot of work. Oh no. <laughs> Done my first package. I don't even want to talk about the mental breakdown I had with the printer. <laughs> that was scary, huh? I started, I was about to cry. I was literally on the verge of tears. My first package to Bella. Love you, Bella girl. All of the, oh, I don't want to show anybody's address. Let me just, that's. 
creepy. But all the orders are done. We packaged them all up. We've got one, two, three, four, five. We've got six, seven. Seven orders. Send out tomorrow unless somebody orders something in the morning. I'm gonna check when I get up tomorrow so I can make sure that I'm sending these out a set. But that's all the orders, yay! The mailers are so cute. I literally love them. In the morning I might stick some tape on these just cause I wanna make sure that, I mean they're secure, but I don't want anybody's stuff to like get damaged or anything, you know? <sighs> Anyways, yay, they look so good. If you ordered anything from me, thank you. They're getting sent out tomorrow. This will be Tuesday. So if you ordered anything from me, you probably got it by the time you're watching this. Or maybe not. Or maybe. Yeah, on Sunday. They will have got it by then. Figured out the printer. I'm going to have to order some more of these printer stickers. I literally had a full-on mental breakdown about the printer. But I figured it out. It's having a little minty bee, but that's okay. That's to be expected with me and technology. I literally cry when I can't figure out how to work technology because I'm just so freaking bad at it. <laughs> like, I mean, I always figure it out in the end, but let me tell you, like I, that, I knew that was gonna happen. Like I knew just it couldn't go smoothly. Like something had to go wrong first <laughs> before it went smooth. But it's really good. The printer's actually really good. So I'm gonna link it in my storefront under my stationery. Same with the poly mailers, which I actually need to get some smaller poly mailers as well. Because these ones are kind of big for like when you order like something tiny, like something small, like just a tea. So I'm gonna see if they have any smaller sizes of some mailers. But yay, that was fun. That made me feel productive. <laughs> okay. Anyways, it's, it's late now. What time is it? 9.02. It's late for me. So I'm going to bed and I'll see you guys in the morning. Good morning, y'all. What is everyone doing? How's everyone living today? It's Tuesday. I'm making me some breakfast. Avocado toast with egg. I just dumped all of my Depop orders off at the post office. Hmm. One of y'all ordered some stuff and it was the wrong address. And I tried to do a refund. Like first I tried to print off a label. Okay. Depop gives you the label. Like the person pays for the shipping and then they give you the label to print out. So if the address is wrong, then the label is basically invalid. Do you get what I'm saying? So I can't make another label like with the right address because then the scanner won't work. It's all like a very odd, complicated process. So anyways, I go to refund the order and it's like Depop cannot refund their fee, blah, 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 blah whatever, yada, yada. So I only was able to refund her for the money that I received, which was like only half the money of the order, literally. And so I feel so literally bad. Like I literally just felt shit about it all this morning. And I know it's not my fault, but it still sucks. I took my PayPal off of there because I don't want that to happen to anybody else. Genuinely, like if there's a problem or like you need to like refund some, or oh, I don't know, like, if there's any reason that I need to like give out a refund, I really don't want that to happen where people are like basically getting like finessed out of their money. Like, cause now she has to message Depop to get her money back. And I heard that they like are really like strict about sending their money back. <clears throat> so I hope she gets her money back. I don't know. It just made me feel bad this entire morning. I'm just like, damn, like, that sucks. Like, I hate hearing that, you know? Today is my first day starting drinking nothing but water. I feel pretty energized right now, but like, will we make it through the day? <laughs> I'm gonna fill this 50 ounce water up. My little water jug. 
because I'm hoping that I can drink two full ones of these today and drink like continually try to be drinking like a hundred ounces of water a day I really wanted to make up my little pancakes i wanted to make like a mcgriddle this morning but i need to use up these avocados like i hate buying avocados and then they go bad because i forget about them so we've got avocado toast and i'm just gonna sit and chill do some work on my computer i have like some amazon stuff to add to my storefront and stuff like that so i'm gonna catch up with y'all when we're doing something fun pepper was supposed to have an exam today <laughs> I have to take Pepper to the vet to get all of her because we literally know nothing about her. So I don't know if she has any of her shots or anything like that. Also, uh, here's the gag. They did not tell me all the shots that they gave to Honey Bear at the shelter. So I don't know if she only has her rabies shot. And I emailed them. Nobody emailed me back. So I have to call them today and be like, hello, what shots does my dog have? Because if not, I want to make sure she's up to date on her vaccines as well. Um, so Pepper was supposed to have an appointment today. But today at noon, but I freaking had to change it because nobody is here to help me. My mom's busy all day. He's at work all day. So I couldn't bring all of them into the vet. Like it would just be too much for me because Sadie, a honey bear? Okay, like she would just sit and do nothing. But Sadie, no, she likes to go all around pissing me off. It's, it's a lot. <laughs> Sadie makes things a little bit harder, but that's okay. That's okay, baby, because I love you. Sadie has like a little a little foot injury, so we haven't been able to go on walks. Huh. We went on a really long walk the other day, and now she's like limping around. I'm like, what's going on? What's going on, baby girl? So I've been rubbing her legs, rubbing her, and massaging her. I really want Pepper to be seen because I think she might still have fluid in her lungs, and we might need to do her on another round of antibiotics. I so didn't want to. But she is still having like a little bit of like coughing and stuff. It's just like leftover residual from her pneumonia. It's not gonna like kill her or anything. It's just like there's some fluid in there that makes her cough a little bit, you know. So I just want to get that all situated and out of the way. But now I have to wait till next week. And his birthday is next week. So we this week we need to get him some um like a gift. Oh god. I'm a great gift giver, but goddamn. <laughs> When I tell you it takes me like 80 years to figure out what I want to get you, like, no, no. Anyways, I'm going to eat my toast and drink my water and then do some work. Loki, I'm feeling pretty high energy right now for not having any coffee, which is wild. Okay, which is wild. I'm supposed to start up my physical training today too. We had to take a week off because of my foot, which is getting better. I've been doing the plantar stretches and the ice rolling ball like i've been taking one of these if anybody has plantar those shoes help so much the hokas oh my god like i swear my pain goes away just after like walking around for a couple minutes wearing them like wow those are literally the best shoes in the entire world i see why the hype it's fucking real okay but i take one of these like multiple times a day like just a frozen water bottle like this and roll it on my like tender areas it's been helping so much like my pain has gone down significantly so i just gotta be proactive with like healing the pain you know what i'm saying so i definitely got plantar like that just is what it is because every time i do the videos for like the stretches the pain gets like less and less so <laughs> Good morning, everybody. It is Wednesday, and let me get my water because this is day two of no caffeine. <laughs> it's taking me out, babes. You know, you want to know why I didn't see you guys for the rest of the day yesterday? Because they literally took a three hour nap, fell asleep on the couch, not even in my bed, on the couch. No, this, this caf, this no caffeine, yeah, it's hitting me, it's hitting your girl. On top of that, I'm not drinking any other drinks, like only water. I just love drinks, okay? I love my matcha, I love my coffee. I'm a drink gal, like, I really love a bevy, okay? It just is what it is. So having to just switch to just water 
why it feels like why am i doing this to myself but i know it's like for the greater good and i want to see like how 30 days with no caffeine will affect me you guys know i like to challenge myself to like try different like little challenges and like see if i can do it this one <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, like this one is, I'm already on the second day and hating it. Like, it's miserable. <laughs> like, why would anybody choose to do this to themselves? We're gonna take some liquid multivitamins because this is supposed to be so good. Okay, it literally leaked. How did that happen? It's supposed to be so good to give you energy. It's supposed to be essentially like <sighs> drinking a cup of coffee or like some espresso shots. So, I'm gonna be honest, it doesn't taste as good. <laughs> it has like a citrusy flavor though, it's not bad at all. But having a beverage, having a coffee, it's enjoyable. Like, I'm not gonna lie, I love the process. I love the experience of making it or going and getting one. Like, it's all fun. It's all fun and good, okay? So having to switch to this, babes, it's not giving. It's really not. I really want to, let me take this and then I'll tell you guys what we're doing. This should have your pee so neon. <laughs> you know when you take a multivitamin and then you pee like literal neon yellow? I'm feeling like okay for the moment, but I'm telling you, once 1 p.m. rolled around, I was out. I slept from 1 to 4 yesterday. Like, but I do want to make some like cucumber water. We'll do that right now. And then I really need to take pepper to get a nail trim and a haircut. Cause she gets like a little scr she's like a little scraggly like um i've never had a dog that i had to groom but she needs a grooming like she definitely needs a little cut so i'm hoping that we can take her there today maybe right now if i like hurry my ass up and get over there but i don't know if it's by appointment only maybe i have to call them let me get a water bottle where the f*** is all my water bottles? What the hell? I want to put it in one that you could see. So I'm going to put it in this little Starbucks California one. Except why is it all like that? I hate when it's got like the hard water stains and stuff on it. Oh, that has some stuff on it. Okay, I don't know what that is. Hold on. I have another one. I have two of the same one. So cute. They're little um, Starbucks California water bottles. I'm not gonna lie, some of the Starbucks merch, cute. Like, it's cute. Like, I just got a cup, like, last month that's so cute. My little pink cup. I cut up this mini cucumber. I used to do this all the time in high school. I would take those Voss water bottles and literally in the morning i would like prep my, I, like high school me was like a different type of energy like where is that i wish i still had that energy like i know i was like literally a child but it's like where the why didn't that follow me into my adult life <laughs> i would literally get up and like take the voss water bottles like the you guys know what i'm talking about they're like clear i would literally stick all my fruit in there i do like blueberries strawberries lemon that's what i need i need some lemon one thing about me i'm always gonna have a water bottle with me like everywhere i go like it's just what it is like i'm always gonna bring a water it's just always gonna be like it's rare if i don't bring a water bottle like i must be like in a rush you know what i'm saying i'm always gonna bring water with me because i'm always thirsty and nothing hits like water now look i love an ice cold water i don't care what anybody says i love an ice cold water i know it's not supposed to be good for you or something i'm drinking water like how could it be that bad you know what i'm saying i'd literally rather not drink any water than drink room temperature i know y'all are like what the hell <laughs> got everything done in a quick amount of time i even did my nails can you see them? They're literally just, why aren't they in focus? Like simple gel and then in the middle I have these like butterfly glitter. Just glued it on with a little bit of the base coat or a little bit of the top coat. They look so stinking cute. And I'm vibing with my short nails right now for 
summer, so I I love it. And it was super simple, super easy, and now my nails are done. So, but I still want to try like um, the Gel X or whatever it's called, Gel X or the Poly Gel. Let me know if you guys do either or and like what's easiest. It's not even two, it's 135. Like I'm crushing it today. It's because I got up so early and then we went on a walk for a, for an hour. We did two and a half miles in the hour. And I just downloaded like this app. My phone is all the way over there. I think it's called Strava. Strava? I'm pretty sure that's what it's called. And it does like your, it shows you like your route that you ran. It's pretty cool. It's like nothing crazy. It's like pretty much damn near what your, your iPhone or your um, Apple Watch, if you wear an Apple Watch, can do for you. And I was wearing my Apple Watch because I needed to get better at that for tracking my like activity and stuff. I mean, like, I know. I can track it in my brain, like what I've done and what I haven't done. But I just feel like it's nice to see it. It's nice to see like your exercise rings, clothes and stuff. And like, I just bought the most simple, basic Apple Watch. Like I literally went inside Best Buy and was like, show me the cheapest Apple Watch that you have. And it's literally, I was like a hundred dollars or a hundred, I think it was like 130 bucks. Um, because I don't need it to do all this fancy schmancy stuff. I just wanted it to track my activity. So that's literally why I bought the Apple Watch. So, you know me, I don't really need anything too fancy. Like just something that's good enough. I need to get a new phone though. Oh my God, we need to get a new phone. But I'm so badly trying to hold out for the 15. Is it the 15? I don't even know what they're on. Like I would still be on iPhone 4 if I was like, if my phone didn't break all the time. Like... I'm telling you, I would be in the stone age. It's like, I hate getting a new phone. I hate the process. I hate the money. I, It's all bad. The transferring of the contacts and the, no. I have to get a new phone, but I'm like waiting, waiting, waiting till it's supposed to come out like September. So I have like two more months until I can get a new phone and my phone will last. It's just like genuinely a piece of like junk now. And then I want to actually sell that phone back to Apple. But tell me why, I freaking tried to sell my laptop. My mom bought me a laptop for, what was for like Christmas or something? I don't know, she bought me a laptop and I was like, well, let me turn, turn in my old one so you can save some money you know what i'm saying me thinking i'm gonna save for some coin tell me why i go there they tell me it's worth zero dollars <laughs> isn't this y'all's laptop and you're telling me it's worth zero dollars like what the heck what i want to see if when i take my phone there if they say that it's worth no money i'm gonna be like literally what are you talking about like because the laptop wasn't even old it was like my most recent one i just didn't use it you know what i'm saying and they told me it's worth zero dollars i said I could have thrown that shit out the dumps. That's basically what they were telling me. I don't even want to say how much I spent on my car. And the amount that they like, like they email me every so often trying to buy my car off of me. And like the price that they give me is just low, babes. And I'm like, I should have known. I should have known. The second you drive off the lot with a new car, babes, that shit is worth like $2. Your shit is worth like $2 now. So I was like, I don't know if I might like in a year or two, just like sell the car. I love the car. Like I don't need a new car. You know what I'm saying? Society is what tells you that you need all this nice stuff and need a new car and need, bitch, I'm rocking with my same 2019. Like, and we love her. You know what I'm saying? She's a good car. Other than the fact that she does have, she is a little bit of a lemon let me say that there is like something that is wrong with it it's not like too big of a deal but it is one of those things that's like oh this could give me an accident and literally end my life like when it thinks the sensors are like covered up it doesn't allow you to put your foot on the gas so literally like you can put your foot on the gas but like it's not gonna go anywhere the car isn't gonna go anywhere okay I don't know how to explain that. I hope you're understanding. Like basically, sometimes the car, when you put your foot on the gas, it just doesn't go, babes. And it says you need to check your sensors. That's what it says, okay? 
it says that it's inoperative and that you need to check the sensors. I take it to Mercedes. They have no fucking clue what I'm talking about. They apparently have never seen this before, but I know that you've seen it because literally I looked it up on the internet and so many people have had the same problem. So I know that you know what I'm talking about. They literally were like dumbfounded. They couldn't even believe what was even going on with my car. Like, is this even a Mercedes thinking I got a knockoff or some shit like that? <laughs> I bought it from y'all. He was driving my car. This was only like, I want to say like two months ago. Yeah, it was like two months ago and it was inoperative. Like it was not going right. We get stuck on a hill. Oh, like this. I had a light. When I tell you the light changes green and we have to go. Oh yeah, babes. We're going like this all the way. Oh, I literally... I think my heart fell into my ass. He had to literally slam on the brakes so fast because there's someone behind us. And if I rear end them, like, hello, that's our fault. But it's really not my fault because like I wouldn't rear end you in the first place if my car was not fucking tweaking out. Really, the car starts rolling back. Everybody's honking at us. We have to put the, <laughs> oh my God. We have to put the emergency like flashers on, the hazards on. And we're literally sitting on this hill just like, so, oh my God, thank God he was driving and not me. Cause I, baby, I would have just let us roll. Like, I'm going to be so honest. Like we would have been in an accident backed into the person behind us. Like, but he like did something with his feet and like made sure his foot was on the brake. Then, then accelerated the gas and we finally like made it up the hill. Oh, it was so embarrassing. Oh, that was one of those moments where I was like, I am just going to crawl in a cocoon and just simply pass away. Every time I tell them about it, they like can't figure it out. They can't figure out what needs to be done. They're always like, we clean the sensors. Like we don't know what's going on. So, <laughs> um, it doesn't happen like super frequently. I'd say like maybe like once a month it happens. Um, but it is like very scary. Like depending on where you're driving, it can be like a very scary situation because it's like a hazard basically. Like you can't put your foot on the gas. It just rolls. Like it's very, it's not good. So I'm like, damn, low key, they do need to buy my car off of me. Like, I don't know if it's a car that I'm going to keep forever. I love my car to death, but like that one thing about it really does like give me the heebie jeebs because like what happens if I'm somewhere and like that causes me to get in an accident or something? You know what I mean? Like, ugh, I just don't want to deal with any of that. Anyways, now that I've gone off on a ta the tangent of the year, <laughs> these vlogs are literally just me like ranting about stuff. I'm so sorry. I got done so fast. I was like, let's do like a little stretching. I don't know if they have this on here. I'm just going to look it up for shits and gigs. See if we have like a little stretching, like meditation type of, like I really feel like my body needs a good stretch, but I also want it to be like really relaxing, like where I can like meditate. Good morning, yeah. We are at the gym because I'm gonna do physical training today. I'm sweating, it's so hot outside. Like, let me crank on this AC and I've turned the fans all the way off. What the hell happened? Everything in here is broken. Literally, the treadmill's broken, fans don't work. These, these people got it on 62 degrees. Yeah, like, yeah, it's so hot outside. I'm dying, but we're gonna do physical training today. My memory card was literally Full, so I just deleted everything from my last video, but we are in the gym today Just the gym that I have in my community. We're about to do some physical training I want to eat my snack before and see like what if we're doing arms and or legs today Usually I check before but I was like low-key in a rush. I also wanted to like film something for TikTok That's why I brought this but I don't know I don't know. We'll see like I'm trying to stay on it with my short form content. I'm like such a long form content girly. So doing the short form, I'm like, I don't even know what to do, where to start, what's going on. But my snack this morning is some dried mango. I'm just obsessed with mango right now. Don't know what that is. Let's see what we're doing today. If we're doing arms or oh, um, yesterday I had off. 
So she'll probably do me on like back to back legs because I had a rest day. Yes, I knew it. Because I feel like I always film the arm days for you guys and it's like, it's getting lame. Like we're tired of that, you know? Then I need to package more orders from Depop. Y'all are really selling out my shit. Like, I thought I would sell like two things. No, baby, this is work. Y'all got me working. I love it though. So next week I'm gonna post more stuff. By the time you watch this, there won't be new stuff posted. But next week there will be stuff posted just because his birthday is this week, like coming up. So I kind of have a lot going on. So I can't like go through all the things. I have buckets of stuff to post on Depop. They're just like put away. So I just need to go through those things and, but yeah, I'm gonna leave the link to the Depop down below so you can follow me. So if you guys want, um, every time, I think it should notify you when I post or maybe it doesn't, but yeah, next week there should be way more stuff up and running. I've even got like nice shoes. I got like Jordans, Nikes, some good shit, except I don't have like the original boxes for it. So that kind of sucks. I think I have, if, if I have the original box, I'll specify that I have the original box. But if I don't, I'm gonna be like, girl, you're gonna be getting these in a fucking Target bag, okay? I love the really squishy ones. Like, that's how you know they're gonna be good. Mmm. Let's start this workout. <laughs> because I wanna get this thing going. Because I do have stuff to do today. I have to package all the orders. And then I have like tons of just like stuff to do around the house. Like I do not know how people literally go to work, have kids, do their housework. Y'all are crazy. Like y'all are really like, no. Like I have a newfound respect for like parents and people that just like people where both people in the house work. Like what are you even doing? Like what are you even doing? Like how are you doing that? That's crazy. Like how do you have time to clean the house? do laundry how do you have time to get everything done that you need to get done like that's insane y'all are warriors me like damn near home all day i still don't get everything done in a day that i need to get done by the time that he goes to work and gets home like that's just crazy to me y'all are really crushing it like you just utilize your time so well like i just can't say the same for me i don't think why was love island missing for like a week on hulu what was that about? Yeah, um, I was literally dying. I was checking every day, like, what is going on? I even Googled it last night. But then, literally, of course, I hate when this happens. When you do something, and then somebody else goes and does it, and then it works for them. I literally checked last night, and it wasn't there, okay? Literally, an hour later, he goes back and checks, and is like, okay, are we watching Love Island? And I'm like, it's not on. Like, they didn't put new episodes on. And he's like, it's right here. And I'm like, no, no, because it wasn't right there an hour ago. He made, he had me feel like I was crazy, but I'm like, I just checked it. Like, how do you check an hour later and it's there now for you? Like, what? Anyways, let's, let's start this workout. If she feeling hot, then I'm gonna double shows and I get up his hair every time that I go. The party not lit, then I'd rather not go. If she feeling hot, then I make up his rules and I got up his tie every time that I post. It's not bad, they be on my ass. I could hear you hating from the back. But let's see, I got bad, he got a bag. Hello you guys, okay, haven't talked to you in a second, but right now we are delivering the packages off at the post office. I have to deliver some mail too. Hold on a second. All right, had to drop off the packages, just did it. It's a good day, it's hot as balls out here. Hello y'all, it is much, 
much later now. I fed the girls, took them out. I did all my responsibilities in the house, okay? So now it's a little bit of me time. I'm gonna do a face mask and then put all my clothes away while I watch Love Island because I passed out. <laughs> I passed out last night when I was in the middle of watching it and I'm like, are you kidding me? So I started re-watching it this morning, like right when I woke up because like, he just be taking a long time in the bathroom. So like, and we obviously like shower together. Is that like a thing? So you all like shower with your person? Like that's just, it just makes it easier um, if we just both shower together in the morning. So we shower, but I have to wait for him to shower. So I was like, okay, while I'm waiting, I have nothing to do, I'm gonna watch Love Island. So I restarted it and it was getting good. And then I had to get in the shower and I was like, oh, I will see you again tonight because who was getting dumped from the island? Okay, actually, I think they're done with that. It's like about to be over and I'm gonna be about to be so sad. Like, I love British people. I love British, I love it. Like, I love it all, okay? I know some of the people on there are like Scottish too, but y'all, I just like have a time. Like just listening to how they talk and like their lingo, I'm like, I should've been born in Europe. I should have been born in the UK. I should have been born not here, babes. Not here, America. <laughs> like, once I get a passport, <laughs> it's over for all of you. That's on what? Island girl. Went to the Violet Sea Radiance face mask. Is that the one I want to do? I have like some texture. Mmm. I just haven't used this one in so long. So I'm like, oh, do I do it? It's so purple and so cute. But I really low-key should be doing a clear improvement. Okay, we're gonna do actually two masks. And I just fucking like wasted this. Okay, hold on. It's okay, it was only a little tiny bit. I'm gonna do my Origins clear improvement. Always, always. There will never be a time where this is not stocked in my cabinet, like never. It's so stinking good. And every time I feel like I have a breakout, okay, just poke myself in the eye, that's fabulous. Every time I feel like I have a breakout, this just like clears it immediately, right up, right away, girl. Like I'm talking next day shipping. Sephora sells it. If I can find it, I'll link it in my storefront. But sometimes Amazon, I try to not link like products that I know people like make knockoffs of because that's like a really big thing. People just be putting like boo fast products on Amazon and I'm like, this is not the real brand. Like you guys are scammers. If I can find it from actual you know, that I know it's like legit, I'll put it in my Amazon storefront, but you can like literally get it anywhere. I'm pretty sure Sephora, Sephora does sell Origins, right? Do they? Fuck, I actually don't know, but I got this at TJ Maxx, $14.99. What's actually like, this is like 30 bucks. So they sell it sometimes at TJ Maxx too, if you get lucky. But I only saw it that one time and that's why I bought it because I was like, oh, this is my favorite mask and I know I'm gonna need a re-up and lo and behold, here is my re-up. So when I like see it and I know I'm getting low, I'll always, I'll always keep it in stock. That's just like the one mask. I've literally been using this since I was like 14 years old. Like this is the mask that my mom has used on me like since the days, okay? <laughs> since the days, since way, way, way back. It's like probably the first face mask I've ever used ever and it will genuinely just always be a fan fave. You know what's comparable to this and it's actually really affordable too is the Innisfree. I hope I'm saying that correctly. The Innisfree. I'm pretty positive that one is linked to my Amazon storefront because baby, that is good. Oh my God, it's always a massacre with her. Like she can't just ever play with a toy just normal. Yeah, that's right, I'm talking about you. You little grim. Like, look at this. Every night, this is what it is. <laughs> I'm gonna move y'all to the closet so we can still chat. <laughs> but this morning, we had took them to the park because I haven't been able to take them to the park in weeks. Literally weeks because Sadie, she injured her leg like a little bit. And then, let me see if I can send you guys right here. It's been too hot. So I literally have not been able to take them to the park and I could tell they're like bored and I like try to stimulate them but it's like it's not the same like the park just gives them a stimulation that like you just can't it's 
it, it's not gonna be the same at home you know what i'm saying i feel like it just really stimulates them to run and like be able to play so literally this morning i rushed out of the house and they only got to play for like 10 minutes it sucks because then it gets too hot they get too over exhausted like i literally rushed out of the house and they only got to play for 10 minutes i'm like but it's okay any minutes is better than no minutes and i've been like trying to get up early so hopefully i can get up early again a little bit earlier tomorrow and take them out tomorrow like that's what i'm hoping and praying for selling stuff on depop has made me feel like i have a purpose in life <laughs> because it feels like i have my own business like every time i package an order i'm like mm, period and done I just feel so good about myself in a way that i felt like i haven't felt like in a really long time it gives you like a sense of purpose like i low key been thinking like i need to get a real job like <clears throat> i know that what i'm doing now like this is a real job but like you know what i'm saying like low key been thinking about my life and sometimes like i love this job but it can in certain way like don't don't twist my words i know how y'all like to do no not y'all but some people on the, on the internet twist my words and it's not what i mean but i'm so grateful for this job and i love it so much i would literally never want another job in the world but however however it's just a fancy but but you get what i'm saying just feel like sometimes being a content creator can be really like unfulfilling <sighs> I know that when I do this job, I'm serving people over the internet. It's a different type of, it's a different form of work. But sometimes that can feel like really unfulfilling and just like, almost like unenjoyable in a way. And I'm not talking about like recently, cause like recently I've been loving to make vlogs and like I genuinely feel like this is my craft, this is my art, this is what I love to do. Um, especially with my music, cause y'all know like that's how I really got started. But I have been so uninspired <laughs> because after harley i just have no inspiration to write i don't feel creative at all so i'm getting in this like area where i'm like i'm just in a slump almost like i'm in a funk you know what i'm saying and i think i feel that too because like now it's summer it's super hot out i can't leave the house i can't leave them like it almost feels like <laughs> You almost feel stuck in a way. This job is the craziest, most rewarding job in the entire world. But sometimes it can make you feel really stuck. Like, I don't know how to describe that other than, like, you just have to feel it to understand. You know what I'm saying? Like, I've been doing this almost eight years. Or eight years now. Literally eight years. So sometimes it can just feel like, damn, you see other people progressing. And I'm not here to like compare my journey to anybody else. Like I know that that is not what I'm about. That's not how I'm supposed to live my life. And it's like never about that. You know, like I'm never sitting like being like, damn, she's got more whatever than me. She's better than me. Like it's never like that. Genuinely, social media can be toxic. You know what I'm saying? That's why I'm here to make this space a little more authentic and a little bit less toxic hopefully hopefully that's what i'm giving because that's the vibes that i want to give you know like when people say that comparison is the greatest thief of joy i had to think about what the quote was right there but yeah comparison is the greatest thief of joy i fully agree like there are so many reasons why i love the internet but there is so many reasons why the internet is literally the most toxic place that you can put your energy into. It's crazy. Like, if this wasn't my job, I would literally probably delete all my social media and go, like, live on a farm in a town that nobody's ever heard of. Like, a town that's not even on the map. You know what I'm saying? Because, like... That's just at my core, like, who I am as a person, you know? And I love social media. I Like, I go on TikTok and I just be cracking up for, like, hours. Like, I love the internet. It's such... Sometimes it's the most rewarding space to be in, especially if you, like, follow the right people. You are part of the right, like, audiences. You know what I'm saying? So many reasons that I love social media and there's so many reasons that I'm like, oh, my God. Like, I'll watch somebody's video and, like literally love it and then i'll go to the comments and be like why is everybody hating like y'all are a bunch of haters like get a life you know where i didn't even realize how many towns i washed like there's like 80 towns here which some of these i need to get rid of because 
these are dingy like don't ever get towels from Costco because one of these oh it's this one I knew it was gonna be one of these Costco run me my motherfucking money what is this? I've got to throw this towel out and you know I'm just gonna freaking fold it up and put it in the closet and keep using it for the next year <laughs> I catch up with y'all honestly probably tomorrow i know that we need to go to trader joe's because i want to make this protein pasta that the lur actually who was it was it anna or was it lexi i think it was lexi me and the twins yeah we're like this baby don't hate i freaking love the lerma twins like i just love them they're just uh, they deserve everything good in life they're so freaking sweet and I just am obsessed with them. And she pr posted this protein pasta. This is how I'm just gonna put my romper. Like, who even knows what this is mixed in with all these clothes? Not me. I'm not even gonna know what this is. But Lexi had posted this protein pasta and I was like, girl, I need to try that. Yesterday, yesteryear, babes. I need that. It, it looks so good. So I wanna get the, all the ingredients. I literally screen recorded it. She posted it on on her Instagram story and I literally screen recorded, please. I am like a psychopath. How cute this is. This is one of my favorite shirts I ever got ever. Can you see it? Of course it's wrinkly. Like, can you see it? He stepped on a little Lego. Where is it? Right there. I literally got this for like five bucks at TJ Maxx. If you know me, I'm obsessed with iconic art, like art that we learned about in school. Have I talked about this before? I feel like I have. I'm like really obsessed with like the art pieces that we learned about in school, hence why I have the melting clock downstairs. Yeah, if you know, then you freaking know. We want to get a print of Starry Night for the downstairs bathroom or just the downstairs in general. I think I want it to go in the bathroom though, but yeah, needs that... I need it. <laughs> I need it. I want it so bad. I want just like a print of it because that's like one of my favorite paintings ever. And I just really love like iconic pieces. So the scream, like when I saw that, I was like, I have to get this. But yeah, that was at TJ Maxx. Like, can y'all believe that? Why are his socks in here? Like, I know that he just be throwing stuff in with my wash because look, I stopped washing his clothes. I said, uh-uh, get somebody else to do it. <laughs> like, because it won't be me. Like, I just was washing his clothes for too long and it would just take me so long. Like, babes, you need to have to do it yourself, you know? Like, I'll do it here and there. Love that. Like, I will, I got you. If you need me to do it, I got you. But doing your laundry all the time when you are a grown man is crazy. I'm sorry. Y'all probably think I hate him. I love this man. Okay. Dealing with what I have to deal with and then trying to deal with everyone else's, like, chores. No. No. Good morning, y'all. It is Friday. We are at Target this morning. This morning was hectic, okay? We were just like moving all around. We took the girls to the park, and now it's time for me to go to Target because I need dog food and some other stuff to make this protein pasta. I'm gonna go stop at Trader Joe's after this because you know I love Trader Joe's and we're gonna get most of the stuff at Trader Joe's. I have mostly everything, I just need like chicken cottage cheese. And I want to get the protein pasta here. So that's why I'm at Target. And it's a little two for one. Okay, because I just want to like browse around, you know, get dog food. I have to get some more. We run through those cans. Like, I'm like, damn, y'all eat. But I got to keep my babies fed. Okay, I got to keep my babies fed. Yeah, I'm just going to do that. Walk around, see if they have anything cute for me to get. I'm not trying to go too crazy because I just placed like a big, big, big amazon order um of like a bunch of like clothes and stuff because i just like i said y'all know i don't know how to dress for the summer i'm literally in sweats day four no caffeine i'm feeling good feeling good i had my um protein shake this morning i just made like a little protein shake it's literally vanilla plant protein strawberries oat milk and peanut butter that's literally it and it's so delicious and so good and it's creamy like it's just every morning it hits so that's what I had for breakfast and I feel good like starting the day off with a smoothie instead of a coffee is like low-key life-changing all right y'all I got tons of dog food 
some distilled water this is his favorite bread and then they didn't have the protein pasta that i wanted so i found this and if you have more than one serving it's like 23 grams of protein so i was like okay i'll just do this hopefully it's good so i needed to find something gluten-free so this is like perfect high protein gluten-free and then look at this i want these so bad they sell these ones at trader joe's the oat milk and i tried it like last week so bomb this looks so good but <laughs> y'all know we're holding strong on day four of no caffeine <laughs> but it looks so good i'm like what if i just what if i just get one but no it's okay i just need to get some command hooks and then like a little basket so i'm gonna go over there this is my jam all right here is the trader joe's overview we've got some microwavable meals we got some chicken for my pasta tonight and then some parmesan. We got some cottage cheese, cause that's in the protein pasta as well. Some tacos, some stuff for sandwiches. I've never tried these and I didn't know they were gluten free. So I'm gonna try some of those, they look delish. I think I'm gonna have some of those for lunch. And then the tortilla chips, these are so good and they're literally $3. They're like the best tortilla chips ever. Fruit, my mangoes, my pineapples, more mangoes here. And then some dips. Oh, I thought this one looked interesting. Everything in the elote dip. I think it would be good with the tortilla chips. Onion powder, because it's in the recipe and I didn't have any. And some spinach, because I've been making spinach salads every day. And then just the dog food and the other stuff that I got from Target. But you guys know what I got from Target. There's my little candle. I don't think I showed you guys. How cute, it smells so good. They need to bring out the fall stuff already. And this that I thought looked interesting. Strawberry basil vinaigrette. I love the fruity vinaigrettes, so got that as well. Been eating a salad every day, so I'm going through dressings fast. So we got that one. I think it'll be interesting to try. Make a little side salad for lunch. That's the overview of everything. And I know I said we were gonna get Pepper's haircut today, but we can't get Pepper's haircut because I don't have her shot records and she's not going to the vet till next week. So we can't get her haircut until, or her nail trim until she's up to date on all her shots because we actually don't know what shot she has and what she doesn't. So she's gonna just get everything during her exam. So, so no haircut for Pepper. Sorry, Pepper. It's so cute. We have this little dog bed in the sun and they like take turns sitting on it. <laughs> I guess right now it's Pepper Stir. Oh, he's a pretty cool. Oh, he's a pretty cool. Oh my God. Come here. Come here. I wish I had three arms so I could pet them all at the same time. <laughs> Hello, y'all. I just finished my physical training. My personal, it's not physical training, it's personal training. I always say physical training, but it's, that's not it. Anyways, I'm refilling. Harley's flowers right now because I got some at Trader Joe's. They didn't have any like really nice roses, so I got like the mini roses because they look like more alive. A lot of times their flowers are like dead. <laughs> and I'm like, what the heck is this? So I got the only ones that weren't dead and they were red mini roses. And they're kind of adorable. I kind of love the little mini roses. They're called spray roses. Interesting. But I'm cleaning out Harley's old roses and putting some new ones. I want to make a point to do this like every month. Obviously, we didn't bury Harley. Harley is literally in the hallway. Hey, Harley girl. I just want to make it a point to like give her her flowers, just like we would do if we buried her and then had to go to the cemetery to visit her, which there is pet cemeteries, but I was like, absolutely not. Like, I want her. All the because what if I move like what if I no I need her ashes like with me all the time I like don't want to be cremated this is like weird to talk about but I don't want to be cremated but I do like the idea of her kids or like whoever's you know gonna have your ashes I do like the idea that they would have it with them like wherever they are wherever they go I know that like seems kind of morbid but let me tell you like a big process in the 
like grief journey for me was getting her ashes, you know? So it was like a big step for me. And then like seeing it every time I walk up the stairs, it just heals me a little bit every time, you know? Like, definitely opened my mind up to maybe changing how I feel about cremation, like when I die. Um, I still like don't like the idea of it, but I'm like, but then they would have me forever, you know what I'm saying? A tiny dollop of belief. It doesn't stink, it makes your flowers last longer. And my favorite part is it doesn't allow buildup for the va like around the vase. Amazing, like I mean, because I used to be scrubbing these vases because of like the flower, like mildew, the bleach, no mildew. Like it's genuinely like self cleaning. So I just put one little dollop in there, and it doesn't smell. I promise you, it doesn't stink. Red roses for my little Harley Queenie. I kind of want to get a nicer vase. I think I'll order one from Amazon. I love this vase, but I want to get her like kind of like a bigger one. It looks so cute. This is right off the stairs. But yeah, I just filled the flowers, dusted it off a bit because it gets kind of like dusty over here. So I'm just making sure that everything looks good. We got her tag here. She's inside here. And then we got her paw print fresh flowers and my literal favorite photo of her ever <laughs> she looks so happy but yeah Like, is it the dry heat? I don't even know what is going on right now. That protein pasta, oh, 12 out of 10. I'm so excited that I have leftovers for tomorrow. Nobody understands. Anyways, right? It was bomb. It was bomb. I'll leave the link to the TikTok, like to her TikTok recipe and everything down below. Right now, we are going to put these things on the bed. These are bed sheet fasteners. Basically, you guys know the situation with the sheet. I got a mattress topper that's three inches thick and now literally no sheets fit, like no matter what the fuck I do. Like they don't fit how I would like them to. So I bought these um, little triangular, they literally look like little suspenders. Like this and you just like damn near stretch it out like goes like this can you see like that so it holds the sheet down because look i am an angel sleeper that man over there i don't know anything about that man over there okay he literally bucks the sheets up okay so that is why we need these so that they stay on the bed so i gotta figure so we'll start like this and then the other two goes to the side and the other one goes to the side but i gotta get it open first like this would be much easier if i could flip my entire mattress but do you know how much this mattress weighs 200 pounds what mattress weighs 200 pounds and then the topper is heavy as well like this bed is genuinely insane but it's literally the best bed in the entire world <laughs> Okay, so let's see. 
All right, that goes like that. Am I doing this correctly? Hold on. If I just hold it with my head. Okay, that one looks secure. I'm gonna try to do all the rest of them. I don't know if you guys can see this, but there's no wrinkles in this sheet. Hopefully this holds up. That's just what I'm hoping and praying for. These with that, they were super affordable, super cheap. If you're somebody that just like doesn't like wrinkles in the bed and you like your sheet to like be, you know what I mean, like vacuum sealed onto your mattress. I think that these are for you. So I'm gonna link them in my storefront. I'm gonna sleep on them for a few days, make sure I like them, but they will be in the storefront. Huh, oh, Pepper. Huh, oh, girl. Y'all, Pepper is so tired. I've had a long day, huh? Okay, let's cuddle. Let's cuddle. Look at how tired she is. She cuddles up next to this thing. It's literally so cute. The thing that I showed y'all earlier of Harley in the hallway, I swear, like, I kid you not, almost every single time we, like, go up or down the hallway, she sits and stares at it. This one, honey bear. She sits and she stares at it. And I'm like, do you think she, like, sees something? Like, I don't know. I know dogs who, like, see a lot more. Well, animals in general can see a lot more than we can see. But I'm like, do you think she sees something? Like, I think that's so odd. Like, she stops and she looks at it. And I'm like, what is the reason? Oops, sorry, I zoomed in. I'm like, what is the reason for that? I think that's so interesting. Anyways, I'm literally going to sit my ass in bed, plan out um, the weekend, and I'm also going to do a tiny bit of work on my computer. I got my highlighters. These are my Bible highlighters. I have them pinned on my storefront in my stationery tab. And then this pen. Oh, let me talk about this pen. Somebody gave me this in high school. Okay, this is from Ac Acme. A-C-M-E. Do you know how much this pen is? So that was when I went to go order more of this pen because I was like, why is this the best pen I've ever used in my life? Let me tell you, this is a hundred dollar pen. <laughs> when I tell you I shat myself, I was like, who let me borrow this? Like who, I don't even know where this came from. Like I'm pretty sure somebody let me borrow it. And then literally just like, I don't even know what happened. Like I'm very much a giver backer, okay? I'm a giver backer. Like I will give somebody their shit back if they let me borrow it. So I literally just don't know where this, like who gave me this pen? I have no clue. But I'm pretty sure somebody like gave this to me in school or something. I don't remember. I genuinely don't. But this is the best pen in the entire world and it's a hundred dollars. Oh, when I seen the price, I was like, oh, I guess I will not be ordering more of my favorite pen in the entire world. So when it runs out, I'm literally gonna die. But it's so good. It's so good. Oh my God. Like who even invents a hundred dollar pen?